if this is your left ventricle, it's going to pump blood to your body. And in patients that have connective tissue disorders or Marfan's or something called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The major thing that attracted me here was it's a special place. And a lot of the surgeries and a lot of the procedures that are done routinely around the world for congenital heart defects started here or have been done here for a long time. And so that is one major advantage here is that even though all these different defects are rare, we do get to see a lot of them, and I, I think overall that combined with the expertise and kind of this team approach leads overall to better care. My name is Diego Porras, and I'm one of the interventional cardiologists here at Boston Children's Hospital. So what we did is we got access from both sides and did like kissing balloons to try to not just dilate both stents, but also dilate this area is where it really gets narrow. My favorite days are the days I'm cathing because that's the day I get to do what I like to do and also that's the day that I most in interact with families and the patients. Our approach is mostly to try to have the best anatomical setup for the patient and the earlier we can get to that kind of ideal setup, the better. In su expediente, y había visto que encontraron que tiene algunas malformaciones cromosómicas. We've seen the interventional cardiology for congenital heart disease change a lot over the last 30 years. It's been revolutionized and there's still a lot of change to come and hopefully that'll translate into better opportunities for the patients and less invasive ways of trying to improve their congenital heart disease.